Alright, about 3.33 Sunday, September 26th in the afternoon, and I'm uh, loading up and we're going deer hunting. I'll show some video when I get over there and get set up. I'm going to be hunting on the ground behind a big rock. Using the old Raven R29. Okay, I'm getting set up here. It's 3.51 p.m. Got the old Raven done locked and loaded up there. Just got that bladeless broadhead before it opens up in it. Jacket there's the set on. There's some rock in here, hurts my rear end, okay? And I'm gonna be sort of sitting like this right here. Looking off down in here. And I'm gonna put the laser down in there in a minute and put the camera back down there when I get set down and call off a few yardages for you. It, it gets pretty far down there. Okay, I'm behind this old rock here, sort of getting ready. It's still a little early. Okay, water spigot right there, it's 40 yards. The camera's on 11x right there. Little tree right there is 57. It's on 30x on the camera. Okay, post right there. It's about 75 yards. Bradford power tree right there is 50. Okay, and then back over here, you get back on the back side of that right in there where the camera's centered, that's about 64 yards. I feel deer right in there with an old raven bow before. From right here. Now, the nice thing about this place of hunting here is they generally come from this way over here. See, I can sort of see them through these trees and get this bow up. And they keep easing out here. Now, I have had them come from over here, okay? Not many times. I had a buck one time did. Now, a lot of oak timber back around this way right here. Pretty good oak timber, but now, these deer, when they're eating these acres, boys, there's so many acres in the woods this year. You deer hunt, it's potluck. You're almost better off to might find you some green grass, because the buck's going to have to eat some green stuff to digest them acres. It'll tie his bowels up. We're going to sit here until about dark, and I'm going to show this video if I don't kill anything, okay? Because that's the way I am. I'm, these fishing shows and hunt shows on TV, you know, they're always seeing stuff, you know? I show the good, the bad, and I guess you call it the ugly, which means I didn't see nothing to shoot at. Or see what I was wanting to shoot at. Now here I'm after a meat deer. Don't expect a good buck to come through here, but now one could. Doubtful. Air's too dry. Woods are too dry. Big bucks don't stir like this much. If he does, he's stirring right, right at dark. And this is a dangerous place right in here for a real good buck to be. Oh, almost forgot. I've got this thing here I use. Now, I've killed quite a few deer sitting right here, and I, I didn't even have one of these. But now, I got one of these things year before last. Percent control, percent elimination, whatever you want to call it. These are no hoax, boys. Trust me. I hunted with it three times and figured out the real deal with this thing. Okay, 90 degree heat, killing them old does. You know, had that old nose up, smelling me in a blind. They couldn't smell me. Plugged them too. Bucks. My deer harvest actually went up after I got one of these. And I do shoot meat deer. You're allowed three does a day here in the county I'm in all season long, all the way through January. I don't kill that many though. I probably kill about 15 antlerless deer and try to kill a couple of bucks a season. So we're going to turn this thing on and lay it up on this rock and just let her blow. About straight up 5 o'clock, maybe a minute before. And I just shot one down there. In there, right in there, in the center of that camera, she was a flashing 58 on the laser. Bow that brought it wore her out. She took off like a lightning bolt up and holler. We'll give her a little while.
If I get this deer, it won't be too bad for a little old Beasley rut. About an hour hunt, I believe I hear her kicking her legs up there in the woods. Okay, I'm standing where I found the boat. Now, she was in front of this a little. There's that little tree there, so I'm about six yards maybe, but now this drops off fast. I'm going to zoom this camera and show y'all where I shot that deer from up there. Okay, now my truck, let's see. You see that? You see that big rock right there? Okay, that's 30x on the camera. So it drops off here pretty quick, and I held a teeny bit low on that deer, yardage-wise, okay? It's got some higher up here. All right, we're going to see if we can't find this old girl. Tore one of my veins off, but that's not, uh, that's not unusual. Get this camera back back out here. There is some blood on that knot right there. I'm pretty sure I've seen this thing center her in that scope when I touched the trigger on that bow. A good eating deer right there, boys. Just come out of spots, looks like. Look at that. You think that wasn't a shot on that deer? That's where it went in. Let's see. I think that's right. Yeah, head was to the left of me. Just about perfect. And there's where it come out. So it was about straight away from me, you know. That's a good one right there. I'll take that one. 